In this video, we are going to learn about the German flag and its history. Let's start. This is the German flag used today. The German flag features a simple tricolor, made of three equal horizontal bands colored black, red and gold. This is the government flag with the coat of arms of Germany. Notice the black eagle with the gold background. Let's talk about the origins of the symbol by looking at the historical flags of Germany. Before Germany was united, the place we call Germany today was part of the Holy Roman Empire. The Holy Roman Empire included hundreds of small German-speaking states. Holy Roman Empire did not have a national flag, but black and gold were used as colors of the Holy Roman Emperor and featured in the imperial banner, a black eagle on a golden background. This is the Reichsadler, the imperial eagle. The eagle has long been a symbol of power and dominion. The black eagle of the Holy Roman Empire banner is derived from the Aquila or eagle standard of the Roman army. The black eagle in a golden field was the ensign of the German kings in the 12th and 13th century. But in the 14th century, it was gradually reinterpreted as representing the empire. In the early 14th century, the claws and beak of the eagle were colored red. From the early 15th century, a double-headed eagle was used. In heraldry, the double-headed eagle is a charge associated with the concept of empire. The double eagle is a much older symbol, dating back to ancient Greeks and Hittites in the Near East. For the Roman and Byzantine Empire, the use of it represented the empire's dominion over the Near East and the West. For the Byzantine emperors, it represented both the emperor and the Christian power combined. One head for the civil ruler and one head for the church. The colors red and white were also significant during this period. When the Holy Roman Empire took part in the Crusades, a war flag was flown alongside the black gold imperial banner. This flag, known as the St. George flag, was a white cross on a red background. The reverse of the St. George cross used as the flag of England. Red and white were also colors of the Hanseatic League. Hanseatic trading ships were identifiable by their red-white pennants and most Hanseatic cities adopted red and white as their city colors. In 1804, Napoleon Bonaparte declared the first French Empire. In response to this, Emperor Francis II of the Habsburg dynasty declared his personal domain to be the Austrian Empire and became Francis I of Austria. Taking the colors of the banner of the Holy Roman Emperor, the flag of the Austrian Empire was black and gold. The Holy Roman Empire had survived over a thousand years. The Napoleonic Wars brought an end to the empire. The empire was dissolved in 1806 when the last Holy Roman Emperor Francis II abdicated, following a military defeat by the French under Napoleon at Austerlitz. After the collapse of the Holy Roman Empire in 1804, the double-headed eagle became the coat of arms of the Austrian monarchy. Napoleon reorganized much of the empire into the Confederation of the Rhine, which was a French satellite. In 1815, following the end of the Napoleonic Wars, the Confederation of Rhine was replaced by a new union, the German Confederation. It was a loose union of 39 predominantly German-speaking sovereign states. The Confederation did not have a flag of its own. Each member state of the Union used its own flag. In the 19th century, student fraternities, which are called Burschenschaften, were founded inspired by liberal and patriotic ideas and the unification of the German fatherland. The very first one, called the Urburschenschaft, was founded in Jena by war veterans of the Lützow Free Corps. They adopted this flag with black red gold following the colors of the uniforms of the Free Corps. A black fabric, red piping, gold buttons. The colors also symbolized the German patriotism and the horrors of the Napoleonic Wars. Black stays for the darkness that was over Germany when France conquered the Rhineland. Red symbols the blood from the soldiers. And golden for the golden light of liberty after Napoleon was defeated. On 18th of October 1817, hundreds of fraternity members and academics from across the Confederation states met at the Wartburg Castle, calling a free and unified German nation. 
the Gold Red Black Flag of the Jena Urburschenschaft, featured prominently at the Svartburg National Festival. Therefore, the colors black, red and gold eventually became symbolic of this desire for a unified German state. In May 1832, around 30,000 people demonstrated at the Hambach Festival for freedom, unity and civil rights. By then, the colors black, red and gold had become a well-established symbol for the liberal, democratic and republican movement within the German states. During the Hambach Festival, people sang the song Wir hatten Gebet ein staatliches Haus. You can find the colors included in the song Schwarz, Rot und Gold, which means black, red and gold. The German revolutions of 1848 and 49 were initially part of the revolutions of the 1848 that broke out in many European countries. Revolutionaries took to the streets, many flying the tricolor. Liberals took power and, after prolonged deliberation, a national assembly was formulated in Frankfurt. This Frankfurt parliament declared the black-red-gold as the official colors of the German Confederation, with the red symbolizing the Hanseatic League and the golden black symbolizing Austria. The parliament established the Reichsflotte, the first navy for all of Germany. This is the war ensign of the navy. You can see that the double-headed eagle was used as the naval jack during this period. However, the Frankfurt Parliament was short-lived. In 1850, the Frankfurt Parliament collapsed and the German Confederation was restored under Austrian presidency, who suppressed the actions of the failed Frankfurt Parliament, including the tricolor. The German Confederation ended as a result of the Austro-Prussian War of 1866, between the Austrian Empire and its allies on one side and the Kingdom of Prussia and its allies on the other. The Kingdom of Prussia was a historically prominent German state centered on the southeast coast of the Baltic Sea. The main coat of arms of Prussia, as well as the flag of Prussia, depicted a black eagle on a white background. The state of Prussia developed from the state of the Teutonic Order. The original flag of the Teutonic Knights had been a black cross on a white flag. The kings of Prussia were from the house of Hohenzollern. The black and white colors were as well used by the Hohenzollern dynasty. Prussians also took the black eagle of the Holy Roman Empire. This Prussian eagle remained the coats of arms of the successive Prussian states until 1947. Following the dissolution of the German Confederation in 1867, Prussia formed its unofficial successor, the North German Confederation. In 1867, the coalition adopted a flag that blended the colors of its largest and smallest member Prussia, black and white, and the Hanseatic League, red and white, into a new black, white, red, horizontal tricolor. The absence of gold from the flag also made it clear that this German state did not include the black and gold monarchy of Austria. This flag would also be the national flag for the subsequent German Empire, from 1871 to 1918, which finally replaced the German Confederation. In the Franco-Prussian War of 1870, the remaining southern German states allied with the North German Confederation. This led to the unification of Germany. A new constitution of 1871 gave the federal state the new name of German Empire and the Prussian king the title of Emperor. The black-white-red tricolor remained the flag of Germany until the end of the German Empire in 1918. These are the war flags used by the German Empire. This is the Marine Jack. The symbol used there is the Iron Cross. It is a military decoration used in the Kingdom of Prussia and in the German Empire. The Iron Cross was a medal given to German soldiers for bravery during wartime. Here is an interesting fact. German sports teams often use white as a main color. For example, the national football team. The organizations that had been founded prior to 1919 often have chosen the Prussian colors, white with additional black and sometimes red. German Empire had colonies in West and East Africa and in New Guinea. This is the flag used for the German colonial empire. These flags were proposed for the German overseas colonies in 1914, but were never implemented due to the breakout of World War I. After the First World War, the so-called Weimar Republic was founded in August 1919. 
to form a continuity between the anti-autocratic movement of the 19th century and the new democratic republic, the old black-red-gold tricolor was selected as the national flag. In the Weimar Republic, the colors black, red and gold represented the colors of the centrist, republican and democratic political parties, which had formed a coalition to avoid ascension to power by warmongering or pacifist extremists. This change was not welcomed by many people in Germany, who saw this new flag as a symbol of humiliation following Germany's defeat in the First World War. The Weimar Republic retained the Reichsadler as coat of arms, but without the symbols of the former monarchy. The Weimar Republic Navy, or Reichsmarine, insisted on using the pre-1918 colors of the former Kaiserliche Marine. These are the flags used between 1933 and 1945, also during the Second World War. Notice the return to the old imperial colors of black, white and red. After the defeat of Germany in World War II, the country was placed under Allied administration. The sea pennant is used as the merchant flag of Germany under Allied occupation, in order to identify German ships in international waters. The Tsar Protectorate, which was a satellite state of France, used this flag at this time period. In 1949, with the continuation and aggravation of the Cold War, two German states were originated in the Western Allied and the Soviet zones, which became known as West Germany and East Germany. There were several proposals for the flag of the new state. The tricolor of the Weimar Republic was ultimately selected, largely to illustrate the continuity between the Weimar Republic and this new German state. The old coat of arms of the Weimar Republic was as well reintroduced as federal coat of arms. East Germany also chose black red gold flag in 1949. Thus, the West and East Germany had the same national flag. However, in 1959, the East Germans added their national emblem in the flag to create a distinction. Hammer and compass surrounded by a garland of corn was a symbol of the alliance between workers, farmers and intelligentsia. There was a united team of Germany that competed in the 1956, 1960 and 1969 Winter and Summer Olympic Games. The old German team used this flag for the 1960 and 64 games. The fall of the Berlin Wall on 9th of November 1989 was a pivotal event in world history, which marked the falling of the Iron Curtain and the start of the fall of communism in Eastern and Central Europe. In October 3rd, 1990, East Germany became part of West Germany to form the reunited nation of Germany that we know today. The black-red-gold tricolor of the Weimar Republic and West Germany became the flag of a reunified Germany. Germans associate the colors of the modern flag with freedom and unity. It is an official symbol of the constitutional order. Thank you for watching this video on Kidopedia. This is the first video about history of flags. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this by leaving a comment and suggesting my next flags video. See you soon!